Hi everybody, it's Rafi Ermac, editor-in-chief of Pride.com, and I'm talking to some drag queens about some gay stuff. <laughs> Who are you listening to? I'm like, um, really into Kim Petras. Her new album is insane. It's so good from start to finish. Every song is like a hit. Um, also, Pablo Vitar is like really gorgeous and really stunning and like exploding. And I just am ready for the world to um, get that explosion. Kim Petras is the next star on the rise. She is a pop musician that is from Germany and she's come over to the United States and I think she's making a splash, but not a big enough splash that she deserves. She is a um, queer artist, but just so much more than that. And um, her music is just next level. Like, it, it is it. Um, well, I am. Always a fan of anything that Adam Lambert does. Love him. And um, now there's this new artist, um, Dorian Electra, I'm like super into right now. Love him. They're awesome. Really cool. Oh, 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 oh. Pablo Vitar, too. Mm. Love me from Pablo Vitar. And I don't know, I do not know whether she's queer or not, but she just, she speaks to me. Uh, her name's Kina. Uh, and she's back, back in the day. Vocal powerhouse. Look at that. Alaska pound cake. Um, oh, the new Tragic Call music. Are you kidding? And not just because I'm on it, but like, bitch. It's so good. It's so good. Um, oh, and Dusty Springfield. I know she's not new, but um, I never knew she was a lesbian until recently. So I live for Dusty Springfield. Oh my god. So beautiful. And what a style icon. Um, I, I feel like, so you were in the panel. No, you weren't on the panel, but you were, I saw you were there. Yeah, they let me be in the audience. Yeah. So fun. <laughs> and it was a lot about uh, queer artists. Um, so are there any like queer artists that you're really into right now or that you're listening to? Yeah, I like uh, Mickey Blanco. Um, I like, uh, who else do I love? I love Trixie Mattel. Her album, Folk What You Heard, it's really good. Um, I like Todrick, obviously, he's amazing. Uh, the Veronicas are really cool. There's so many. Um, Vincent, Betty Who, um, uh, shit, there's so many. Liz I'm listening to a lot of Lizzo and Lexi Pantera, too. How do we as a community come together to support these queer artists who uh, don't uh, have the biggest platform, who don't, uh, don't get as much attention as like the Beyonce's, the Rihanna's, the Taylor Swift's? Uh, I mean... I love them, though, too, so... Streaming our music, it's always like showing support, um, dancing to our songs, coming to our shows, all of it means so much to all of us. We really appreciate all the support, we encourage all the support, and I know it's so easy to like compare us to, you know, traditional pop stars, but we're, we're our own, we're our own kind of music, and we're our own stories that we're telling, and our own arts that we're presenting it, you know. The more that we label people, and the more that we put people into boxes, and we, we put those labels on those individuals, that is actually segregating us and keeping us further apart. And I think the best way to come together and celebrate each other is to just celebrate for who we are, people as humans, and music and for what it is. Talking about them, talking about uh, queer artists uh, on in every room that you go in, uh, queer art, queer artists, uh, will kind of remove some of the stigma or the um, the block, the mental block that people have, you know, when when considering whether to support uh, an out gay male singer or a trans artist or someone else. Uh, I think we, you know, people are like, oh, they're cute, but then they like stop at that. And so I think that's one of the ways we can do is just all talk about it and like be like, hey, yeah, yes, I love that new Madonna song, but there's a song that's just like that. Did you listen to? That reminds me of that here's this out queer person who has a new song. Let's let's dance to it. And the DJs in the clubs. Let's get off the just top 40. Yeah. <laughs> you also already have like a bunch of albums under your name. Do you have any advice for uh, aspiring songwriters, queer artists who want to uh, come into the industry? I say just do it because um, I think uh, to be like, oh, it's you know, to hem and haw over perfectionism is stupid. If you have an idea for a song, you should do it and you should make it happen because I think. Uh, I think a product that's out there that's imperfect is better than a product that never sees the light of day. Good advice. Oh my god, just do it and write it. My first album, I wrote all of it myself. I played most of the instruments myself. I paid for it all myself. I even stoned the costumes on the cover myself. Um, so like, 
just put it out there because uh, honestly, if it is a failure, it'll be the failure that you're very proud of. Every single project, every single record I make, I just like Marie Kondo it. Like, it might never come back. The money might just be gone. But like, it's worth investing in your own work and owning your own work. I own all my own music. Every single time somebody buys it, the money goes straight to me. It's great. Be ready to be tired because you're gonna hear no a lot and you have to keep working a lot. And if you're tired and you wanna sit down, know that someone else isn't sitting somewhere. And you have to work really hard and you're gonna hear no a lot. And I heard no for 15 fucking years before the right yes, which was a star is born, made me feel complete as a person, as, as an artist. Um, so that's about it, just keep going, keep fucking going.